Welcome back, LHS. I'm Ava Gonzalez. And I'm Carly Wright. Today is Tuesday, February 8th, and this is your Blue Devil News. Registration for classes has begun. Counselors will be coming into focus classes to discuss course registration. The deadline for course requests for next school year is Friday, February 18th. Congrats to freshman Miracle Brown, who placed first place in the district creed speaking contest. And to sophomore Carly Blackburn, who placed second in the soil and water conservation speech. Don't forget to remind your parents about parent-teacher conferences this Thursday from 3.30 to 6.30. The Wilson County Honor Band Concert will be Friday evening at 7 p.m. in the LHS Auditorium. These ensembles meet for the first time on Thursday night and put together a concert within 24 hours. The concert is free, so come out and support your LHS band students. The Lebanon softball team will host its annual Chili Supper and Silent Auction this Saturday, February 12th, in the LHS cafeteria from 4 to 8 p.m. Tickets are $5, and with that, you will get a bowl of chili, grilled cheese, a drink, a dessert, and a bid number. Softball players are also selling $1 donation tickets for a chance to win up to $1,000 worth of tires from Bridgestone. You don't want to miss this event. Criminal justice students registering for senior year who would like to take the Job Shadow Practicum course next year need to see Mr. Lakeman or guidance to pick up an application. Turn in your completed application to room C302. Prom will be held on April 29th at the Mill for juniors and seniors. Tickets are on sale at the bank and online. Tickets are $55 each until February 28th. Beginning in March, tickets will be $65 each and $75 in April. Take advantage of the discounted rate and buy your tickets now. We will be right back after these segments. Singing Valentines are back this year and they will be available for purchase every day at lunch this week for $5 and will be performed during second block Monday, February 14th. If you're really into this person or want to let them know how special they are, this is the gift for you. Let them know that you adore them by buying this. Here are the song choices available. Don't forget to stop by lunch this week and purchase your singing valentine. Coach Maxwell, just wanted to let everybody know track season is right around the corners. I am looking for male and female shot putters, discus, javelin, hammer. It's an easy scholarship. Come out, learn something new, get in shape, and let's see what happens. Come see me. Coach Maxwell, room A304. Yearbooks can be purchased at yearbookforever.com. Now back to the news. The National Honor Society will be collecting 
pop tabs until February 28th to support the Ronald McDonald House. If you have any pop tabs from a Kickstart, give them to an NHS member. Are you interested in promoting mental health awareness and positive coping skills? Then this club is for you. Club signups will be held at 3 p.m. Thursday this week in the STARS Counseling Office, room A500. Seniors, your senior fee is $75 and due by March 1st. You can pay at the bank or online. If this is your first time using School Cash Online, you will have to register before you could use the app. You can also submit your height, weight, and the correct spelling of your first, middle, and last name by scanning this QR code or going to the link below. Don't forget about the ACT this Saturday. Be sure you get a good night's sleep and eat a good breakfast in the morning. Hello and welcome to Here Tutoring. In this video series, we're going to talk about the best strategies to use for the ACT math test, starting with the principle that you should work faster at the beginning. Why is that? Well, because the questions on the ACT math test generally go from easier to harder, which means that you're going to need to spend more time on the later questions than on the earlier questions. Imagine yourself taking the ACT math test and your plan is to spend one minute on each question which makes sense because 60 minutes divided by 60 questions equals one minute per question. So you're taking the test and you finish 10 questions in 10 minutes, 30 questions in 30 minutes, and 40 questions in 40 minutes. You think to yourself, I'm doing great. But then, after question 40, you start to notice that it's taking longer to do some of the questions. These questions aren't as easy as the earlier ones. When you finish 45 questions, you're at 47 minutes and when you finish 50 questions, you're already at 55 minutes and you still have 10 questions left. And because of your panic, you aren't able to focus to get a few more questions correct and you end up guessing on most of these last 10 questions. The moral of this story is that if you answer questions at the rate of one minute per question, you're going to find that you won't have enough time for the later questions, many of which will probably take more than a minute to do. So. Generally speaking, you should aim to do the earlier questions in less than a minute each to give yourself enough time to complete the later questions. More specifically, you should aim to complete the first 30 questions in less than, I'd say, 25 minutes, which will give you 35 minutes to do the last 30 questions. Now, you probably don't want to rush and make mistakes during the first 30 questions, but you also want to work fast enough to give yourself the best chance at getting as many of the later questions correct as possible which will happen if you give yourself as much time as possible for these later questions. Although time is generally not as big of an issue on the ACT math test as it is on the ACT reading and science test, if your math skills are relatively strong, it's still important to go into the test with a plan to make the most of every minute you have just to be as prepared as possible. In the next video, we are going to talk about how to be smart about using the answer choices to figure out the answers to certain questions. Thanks for watching and I will see you there. Good luck to everyone planning on taking it. Seniors, if you are interested in performing at Senior Night, see Ms. Fitzgerald in the choir room A704 and pick up an application. Auditions will be on Wednesday, March 2nd, in the choir room. Senior cap and gown pictures will be here at school on February 23rd. That's all the news we have today, LHS. Thank you for tuning in and supporting the news. I'm Carly. And I'm Ava. And this has been news to you from the White and Blue.